Have you ever wondered how your past experiences, particularly the unpleasant ones, impact you over the long term? Picture yourself relaxing peacefully when a memory of a time you botched a presentation suddenly comes rushing back. Your palms get sweaty, your heart pounds, and your stomach clenches, filling you with a sense of dread. If you think that this is a unique experience to you, rest assured it's not. Lingering on past negative experiences is a common occurrence. For many years, researchers have been fascinated by the scientific basis of these negative thoughts. One such study, conducted by Elizabeth Kensinger from Boston University and Daniel Schachter from Harvard University in 2006, centered on the emotionally charged event of the 2004 American League Championship Series of Baseball. By using three categories of participants, fans of the winning team, the Red Sox, fans of the losing team, the Yankees, and a neutral group, they discovered that fans whose emotional stakes were high remembered the event more vividly than the neutral observers. Surprisingly, it was found that the negative group recalled more intricate details of the event than the positive group, emphasizing that negative memories are sharper and more resistant to morphing over time. A subsequent study investigated another emotion-filled event, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and revealed similar results. The group who viewed this event negatively recollected it with more detail and accuracy. The question is, why does the brain store these negative emotional memories more vividly? To comprehend this, it's essential to understand how the brain manages memories. Our brain's memory hub is the hippocampus. However, when it comes to emotional memory, the hippocampus collaborates with another structure, the amygdala, which is linked to controlling fear, as well as certain regions of the prefrontal cortex in charge of emotional regulation. During the recall of an emotional memory, the amygdala imparts the emotional aspect, and the stronger the emotion, the more active it becomes. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex contributes further to this emotional memory recall. As these structures get triggered during an emotional event, they relay the emotional experience to the hippocampus, reinforcing the memory already stored there. Yet, the impact of negative memories stands out more distinctly. MRI scans of participants identifying emotional experiences showed more activity in the hippocampus, amygdala, and certain areas of the prefrontal cortex when recalling negative events as opposed to positive ones. During stressful experiences, our body responds by releasing stress hormones, epinephrine and cortisol, and the interaction of these hormones with the amygdala is pivotal in strengthening the memory of the event. As adrenaline and cortisol are released more regularly in stressful situations, the amygdala is highly stimulated and conveys intense emotional signals to the hippocampus, leading to a stronger recollection of that negative incident. You may question why our bodies choose to strengthen these unsettling memories. Scientists propose that this tendency has evolutionary significance. It serves to remember, recognize, and prepare for similar threats in the future. In today's context, damaging experiences can range from a bad grade or a failed presentation to more traumatic instances, such as a mugging where the recollection of minute details like the thief's car, the gun, or even the feelings experienced during the incident can be vividly remembered. Such memories serve as safeguards for us to prepare better in the case of future occurrences. That being said, not all recollections are negative. Joyous experiences and cherished memories are also stored in our hippocampus. Evolution has granted us the haunting skill of summoning negative recollections, not to rob us of our peace, but to spare us the trauma of past mistakes and reinforce the lessons learned.